From the shores of Lake Erie to Kenya's Lake Victoria, BGSU students continue to study the causes of toxic algal blooms. After receiving a National Science Foundation grant of nearly $400,000, a cohort of BGSU graduate students packed their bags for three weeks last summer and traveled across the world for a comparative study they believe can contribute to the understanding of toxic algal blooms. To work with a cohort of Kenyan graduate students, and so, it, so this large team studied the bay, studied this, uh, this gulf region of, of Lake Victoria, and characterize the bloom events and the nutrients which are driving them. Local Kenyan residents' relationship to water is a lifeline on a daily basis. Kenyans' access to clean water is far more limited than, than ours. Our water treatment facilities are excellent in, in, uh, in, in North America, whereas it's, it's the resource issues in, in Kenya. While in Kenya last summer, graduate student Kate Brown's research found that there is potential for multiple toxin in the Wynnum Gulf. In consideration with drinking water, um, a lot of folks use the um, water direct, like raw water directly out of the lake, um, consuming it, um, bathing in it. So it's not really, it's not great for any of that um, to have the water be toxic. So um, in the upcoming trip, I'm hoping that there will be a couple of people that will um, continue on this work and we can look to see like what the toxin potential is again at that time, but then also to directly monitor the toxins themselves when they're there. Recent BGSU graduate and research technician Ryan Wagner says the collaborative effort was worth the trip to Kenya. Learning about their different problems, um, you, you know, you can look for the similar trends and things that happen in Sandusky Bay and, and Lake Erie as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you, could, you can definitely learn from them and how they're, they're doing things and, and adapt it to what, what's happening here. George Bullerjohn is optimistic about the research work being done. The more we understand what the drivers of these bloom events are, the better we can predict when they're going to happen and, and the measures we can take to mitigate them. Students are headed back in May for a return trip to Lake Victoria in Bowling Green on the campus of Bowling Green State University. J.D. Pooley, 13ABC Action News.